Tonight, Congressman George Santos once again facing expulsion this week and predicting this time he'll be thrown out. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is here with more on this. Marsha. Well, Joseph Maurice, it may not be D-Day for George Santos, but it appears it will be D-Week as congressmen from both parties appear poised to drum the Long Island Republican out of Washington. Santos himself has told me he thinks his days as a congressman are down to the single digits. It was the start of what could be the last act of the George Santos Three Ring Circus. The advocacy group Move On, steering a 15 foot inflatable Santos balloon in front of the Capitol, as inside, Congressman Robert Garcia of California and Dan Goldman of New York introduced a special privilege resolution to force their colleagues to vote on stripping the Long Island politician of his office. Resolved that Representative George Santos be, and he hereby is, expelled from the House of Representatives. The move starts the ball rolling on something that has been brewing since the House Ethics Committee found there was substantial evidence that Santos broke the law and engaged in a complex web of financial activity. Charges that Santos used campaign funds for Botox treatments, designer goods, and lavish trips with his husband. And it is long past time that George Santos be removed from Congress, stop voting on important legislation. While the resolution sets in motion another attempt to force Santos out of office, sources tell me that delicate negotiations are still ongoing. Speaker Mike Johnson spoke with Santos to outline his options, which includes the possibility of him resigning. One highly placed source tells me that Santos would be a fool not to use his resignation as part of a plea deal to lessen the criminal charges he faces. It's also unclear whether the Goldman Garcia resolution will be the one voted on. House Ethics Committee Chairman Michael Guest is expected to issue his own privilege resolution calling for the Santos ouster. A furious Santos says Congress should focus on the nation's problems, not him. Not on censuring one another, expelling one another, witch hunts against pol the political class. Nobody cares. If this building, if this city put the effort to fixing our country the same way that they put on expelling me, we'd be in a better place. But this place is littered in political theater. Now, Santos pointed out that this is the third time he's faced an expulsion vote. Though Santos told me candidly over the weekend he thinks enough Republicans will join with Democrats to expel him, he did not respond to a question of whether he is thinking of resigning. His lawyer also refused to comment on that. Now, Santos has a press conference scheduled for Thursday morning. Jessica and Maurice. Big week. Marcia, thank you.